Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Glasscock, behind the camera again today. Hey everybody. Uh, today I'm gonna be showing you guys what it looks like when I play Fortnite Battle Royale using my mobile wireless hotspot from my Samsung Galaxy S7 smartphone. And I'm gonna be comparing it to the ping and connection from my gigabit fiber optic internet provided through AT&T. And we're gonna do a comparison test and see which has the best ping? I think that's an obvious answer, but I've never actually done this before. I've never gamed ever on a wireless mobile hotspot. So I wanted to compare and see what the connection looks like between the two different services. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by taking a look at the fiber connection. We'll go into a game of Fortnite Battle Royale and we will look at the ping meter and see exactly how low the ping goes and then we'll compare it to the wireless hotspot. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna set up an internet connection. We're gonna use the LAN cable and set everything to easy. And we will do a quick test. And my internet is a thousand megabits per second upload and a thousand megabits per second download, but through PSN, it gets bottlenecked. So we're sitting at around 340 download and 65 upload. So we're gonna see just how low the ping goes in Fortnite Battle Royale. And then we'll switch over to our mobile hotspot. So I'll see you guys here in a minute. Alrighty guys, so we've made it here into a game of Fortnite Battle Royale. I'm gonna be switching over to my Elgato HD60S so you guys can see a better picture. Alrighty, so we're here on the HD60S and it looks like our ping through gigabit fiber optic internet is sitting around 30-ish, 37 milliseconds. So that's not too bad, we're just gonna drop off anywhere. Let's see if it gets any lower with time. Because usually the longer you stay in the game, the more the ping stabilizes. So I'll be curious to see just how low it goes. I think the lowest that I've gotten is around 20 milliseconds, just because I am in central Texas. And I'm not close to the east or the west coast, which is where the main servers are. Bear in mind, guys, I'm not very good at this game. That's not really the point of this video. The point is to see exactly what the connection looks like. So it looks like we're sticking around the 30 millisecond mark. I don't have my headset on, so I can't hear anybody. No idea where anybody is. Oh, I think I just saw somebody. Oh, we just eliminated somebody nice it's not too bad so it looks like we'll mostly be sticking around the 30 ish millisecond mark close to the 40s as well we're going to go ahead and we're going to back out and we're going to go into another game and see what it looks like in another lobby just to test and compare so we've made it here into our second game of the day and it looks like the ping is roughly about the same but once we get into the game, we'll see if it stabilizes out any. Oh, we're at that 29 there for a second. Yeah, so we're hovering around the 34 millisecond mark, which isn't too bad, but it's not the lowest I've gotten. All right, everybody. So now we're going to disconnect from our gigabit fiber optic internet, and we are going to see just how good the connection is using our wireless mobile hotspot. I'm going to show you guys what the speeds look like on my hotspot, just to compare. As you can see, we're at around a 23 millisecond ping, around six-ish upload, I want to say. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the Wi-Fi hotspot. All righty, so we've connected to our Samsung Galaxy S7 mobile hotspot. We're going to see just how good the connection is. 
I've never done this before, so I'm actually kind of excited to see what it looks like. This is going to be interesting. So it is taking a minute to decide what the nat, ooh, nat type three. I have not seen that before. That is interesting. And what kind of speeds are we going to get? Wow, 10 megabits per second download, 1.4 upload. That is not too bad at all. So we're going to go ahead and load into Fortnite Battle Royale, and we are going to see what the ping looks like in game. I'm excited for this. So this is our first game on our wireless mobile hotspot. And I'm going to switch over to our HD60S and get a better picture for you guys. But as you can see, our ping is roughly around 70 milliseconds. It's bouncing between 70 and 80 milliseconds, which is a lot better than I had expected, believe it or not. That's not bad at all. And we've got 0% packet loss. That's pretty good. We'll see in game if this stabilizes out at all and if it gets any lower, I'd be excited to see that. All right, so it looks like we're sticking close to around the 70 milliseconds now, which isn't too bad. It's not the best. It's definitely not as good as the internet that I have, but it's still not as bad as I expected. So here we are in our second game using the Wi-Fi mobile hotspot. And it looks like we're hovering again around the 80 millisecond mark, which isn't too bad. Overall, I'm definitely surprised at how low the ping is. I was expecting it to be in like the mid hundreds, like 150, 170 or something like that. That's not too bad. I could definitely play on this. <laughs> like I could play on this. Damn, get quickscope. So yeah, guys, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I know I'm not very good at this game, and that wasn't really the point of the video. The point was to show you guys what the connection looks like when using a mobile hotspot when playing Fortnite versus having a good home connection. So let me know what you all think and please rate the video because it does help me out and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all on the next video. Peace.